Hi everyone, Simon Keeling here with your flying week and weekend ahead outlook brought to you exclusively by Fly Magazine and association with weatherschool.co.uk. Thanks again for watching on Monday the 6th of July. Now we had a fantastic weather school uh, this weekend, uh, loads of pilots on it who have been sending me messages uh, through saying thanks to what they did on Saturday they've actually managed to get some flying booked for this week and with high pressure building at the end of the week which is what we've been looking at at weather school uh, they've been able to get in there early on so that's really good news now if you want to come along to aviation weather school I'll tell you more about it in just a second but one of the things we spoke about was that um, some people didn't know we were doing this weekend forecast I've been doing this for 20 years plus where on a Thursday or a Friday I send you out a text forecast of uh, by email of uh, what the weather's going to be like for flying over the weekend. You don't get any spam, you don't get any rubbish. Uh, to get it, it's completely free of charge. Just send a blank email to aviationweather-subscribe at weatherweb.net. So the address that you see there on the screen. Um, now this is Aviation Weather School Part 1, which is going to be taking place over two consecutive Saturday mornings on the 18th and the 25th of July. I've got two places available on this course. And if you want to build your confidence in your ability to make forecasts yourself and to be able to make the most use of those from official sources and to fly more and more safely then you need to get yourself along to Aviation Weather School. It's run entirely uh, online, it's a live course presented by me. Go and have a look at the website for the reviews at weatherschool.co.uk. Just click on the reviews here. Now if you want to book your place now and find out more about it, go to Aviation, Aviation Weather School Part 1 live online course and you'll find all the details down there and you can book your place here now. It says four places available there but I think we've only got two. Um, so if you do want to come along then I'd suggest that you get booked in pretty quickly. Now as far as the weather for this week goes, it's a mixed start to the week but it does improve later on and the weekend is looking fairly good with pressure starting to build. So this is how we are then for today. Actually not a bad day today. Um, flyable in most areas. We've got some showers across northern and eastern Scotland coming down through eastern parts of England but generally it is going to be a flyable afternoon. For Tuesday all changed. Low pressure moving in. We've got cloud and outbreaks of rain affecting much of Ireland, northern England, central and southern parts of Scotland. I think these areas under generally non-VFR conditions as outbreaks of rain move through. One to two thousand foot base, probably a ten to fifteen thousand foot top. Southern parts of England faring better, perhaps some fog around the far southwest, but generally these southern areas look better. I think bases of around 3,000 feet. Tops are up at about 12 to 15,000 feet, but that's in layers uh, rather than anything else. So it does look flyable and flyable in the far north of Scotland too. Now for Wednesday, front trails through the middle of the country. So some cloud, perhaps some bits and pieces of rain hanging around, but I'm going to say marginal to VFR in these areas because I do think there'll be some flying to be found. It may take a while to come through, 2,000 foot base, probably an eight to 10,000 foot top. North of that, south of that, flyable base is 3,000 feet, tops at about 10,000 feet. By Thursday, another area of low pressure moves in. So again, we're looking at unsettled conditions on Thursday. Cloud and rain affecting Scotland, Northern Ireland, the far north of England as well. Non-VFR in here because of that rain. Bases around one to 2,000 feet tops at about 12 to 15,000 feet and pretty breezy. I think marginal across Southern Ireland, across Wales, across much of Central and Northern England because of that wind. So for most of us, probably fairly uncomfortable, but depends obviously on your crosswind limit. Um, but generally, I'm going to go non. Uh, to, I'm going to go marginal VFR. Sorry, bases around 3,000 feet, tops at 15,000 feet, with one or two showers, perhaps flyable in the far south of England. And then by Friday, that low is out in the North Sea. We've got this northwesterly flow, bring some heavy showers northern and eastern parts of Scotland and eastern England. Windy too, which is why I'm going non-VFR with that rain. So generally, bases one to three thousand feet, tops at around ten to 15,000 feet, but embedded QNMs could be up to 25,000 feet at times. Further west, it gets better from the west during the day. Maybe marginal at first, but things then start to improve. So that across Ireland, for example, here the winds are three to four, uh, sorry, the base is three to 4,000 feet, tops about 15,000 feet. Quite a brisk northwesterly. And then for Saturday, higher pressure building in. So generally, they're for most by the looks of things. Base is three to 5,000 feet, tops 
at around 10,000 feet, well broken cloud and looking like being a fair day. And Sunday, high pressure over the top of us. So apart from some low cloud affecting western parts of Ireland, leading to non-VFR conditions here, most areas do look VFRable. Base is 4,000 feet, tops at 8,000 feet in mainly light winds, although there may be more of a breeze across southern areas of England and northern France. But even northern France looks flyable as we get into Sunday. Now, of course, uh, we will keep you updated with all the latest developments here and uh, we'll have an update for you as usual for this forecast on Thursday. In the meantime, um, don't forget you can book your place at Aviation Weather School now uh, for the course that's going to be held on the, if I can get it there, the 18th and the 25th of July. It'd be super to see you there. Get ready because we go beyond the PPL and I teach you what you really need to know about whether it's a fun course, it's accessible, it's interesting, it's how weather should be. It would be great to see you there and you can book your place at weatherschool.co.uk now. Okay, I'll leave you with that though for now. Whatever you're doing, thanks again for watching. If you are flying this week, have a safe and enjoyable flying week. I might even be able to get up there myself now that dual training has begun again. Oh, I'm so excited. Okay, thanks again for watching. Keep the sun shining and bye for now.